What's going on there? This is Keith Kelfis, founder of the Window Cleaning Blueprint and author of the book, How to Make $500 a Day Cleaning Windows. In this video, I wanna talk about some very important things, six things that I believe are the most important thing you have to consider before getting into the window cleaning business. This can be lucrative, it could be simple, it could be easy, or it could be extremely frustrating and you can bang your head against the wall. The window cleaning business is a business that from the outside looks easy, like a piece of cake, but from the inside it can be the exact opposite and there's some misconceptions. So uh, what I wanna talk about is these six things and I'll get right into it. Number one is the current state of the window cleaning business. Is that $40 billion a year in the United States alone is spent on cleaning services. There are people who are you know, middle to upper middle class to high class people who are busy working and they don't have time to clean their houses, they don't have time to clean their windows or to clean their carpets and they're spending uh, all types of buku bucks on cleaning services in order to save time and there are literally windows everywhere that you look, everywhere you go once you start thinking about this and your brain starts to see it, you go, oh my God, there's windows in this office right now. There's windows on those buildings. There's windows everywhere you look. And that means that there's windows that need to be clean. There's money everywhere you look when you are in the window cleaning business, especially when you're looking through windows. So that means there's a huge opportunity all around us. When I first got started in cleaning windows, I was like, dude, there's too much competition. Oh my God, there's no money. No one's gonna want their windows clean. And uh, when you understand marketing and how to get your foot in the door, then you learn that the opposite is absolutely true. So, but there's one more thing that I want to I talk about is uh, we're in an entirely new world here. Number two, there's a new world. There's a new reality to this whole thing. You know, for 50, 60, 70 years, people clean windows. That was it. But now with this whole new internet and internet marketing paradigm, there's an entirely new reality. And that reality is really based on uh, authenticity, congruency, transparency, and presenting yourself as a, a top notch or top shelf type of person, company, solopreneur, whatever it may be, like if you're solo going around cleaning windows, that because you're cleaning people's windows, you are representing a company, you're going inside of people's homes, which is um, you know, license insurance, some people want to get bonded. I can't go, give out any legal advice or anything like that here, but this new world is transparency everywhere. People will go on Google and they will leave a bad review about your company if you do the smallest thing that is unprofessional freaks them out. It's happened to me recently in my own company where I had to resolve an issue with a customer because they left a bad review. We get tons of positive reviews and that made me even see more that whoa and that the smallest thing. So we're in a whole new reality, a new world and this whole internet shift means that just passing out door hangers and flyers and putting an ad in the newspaper is not necessarily gonna work anymore like it used to because now people are on their phones, they're on the internet, they go, they look for cleaning service, they're in a hurry. Okay, this guy, okay, they look really credible. Okay, they got a lot of five-star reviews, their website looks legit. Okay, positive, clean, friendly. They were in and out of the house in a jiffy but did a phenomenal job, reasonable price. Call now, click one button, boom. So and so window cleaning services, how can I help you, right? I actually have an entire telephone script that you can follow word by word inside of my book. But this new reality is, comes with some more stuff because I'm gonna tell you some good news. My sloppy handwriting. The good news is that when you're aware of this stuff, you can take full advantage uh, with windows being everywhere and understanding the internet, internet marketing and understanding how to conduct yourself on the internet and show that uh, is very good news because that means you can get into it and you can start making money fairly quickly by learning about social media marketing strategies, uh, signpost, Twitter, I can name off all the social medias all day, you know what they are. And 
these awesome marketing companies like Signpost and Angie's List and Home Advisor and Yodel, you pay these people a couple hundred bucks a month and it's like hiring virtual assistant professionals that market your business for you and bring you in pre-qualified leads. And that's really good when you understand that all. But there's bad news. The bad news about this all is, if you don't know what you're doing, and these other companies do, or these other people do, or these other solo entrepreneurs do know what they're doing, and you don't, you're gonna run around and bang your head against the wall. You're not gonna make a penny, and it's gonna seem impossible. Your, your son's shiny dream of making money cleaning windows or growing a window cleaning business is gonna instantly turn dark, and you're gonna come home frustrated. I first started this business, I came home with, I would make 40 bucks an entire day I thought it was impossible. The amount of rejection that you're gonna go through is hell. You better have a very thick skin because when you walk into a storefront with some squeegees on or you leave them in the truck, whatever, some business cards, you say, hi, it's a cell phone store. There's an employee at the counter. You say, hi, my name is Keith. I own a local window cleaning business and we're currently expanding in this area. We're out cleaning windows um, and your windows are dirty. Is the owner in? Oh, he's not in right now. Uh, and you see the owner in the back. Well, I see the owner back there. Can I talk to him? Ah, send him away. He's trying to sell us something. That's why I wouldn't bring the squeegees in. It depends on where you go. You know what I'm saying? But the owner, okay, can I help you? Hi, my name is Keith. I own a local window cleaning business. Or my name is Joe. I own a local window cleaning business and we're expanding in this area. I notice your windows are dirty and um, they don't want to hear it, right? You say, well, we're currently expanding in this area. Your windows are dirty and dude, I'll clean them all right now. 15 bucks. Ah, uh, no, no. We already have a guy who cleans the windows. Okay, so when is the last time he was here? Oh, uh, he comes every two weeks. Well, I'm looking at your windows. They look like they haven't been cleaned in months. Dude, I'll clean them right now for 15 bucks. No, 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 we're good, we're all set. Well, tell you what, good, reliable window cleaners are hard to come by. If you need your windows clean, I understand you're busy, here's my card. I'm in the area every two weeks. You just make this stuff up if you're just getting started. Okay, well, whatever, how much you said 15 bucks to clean them? You pull the cookie away, you know? You might have to go through five, six, seven stores to do this, pull the cookie away. Ah, uh, you know what, they are pretty clean, just, just go ahead and clean them. Cash? Yeah, cash. Go in your truck, get your squeegees, clean all the windows, wipe down the sills, make sure you have a receipt book uh, handy from like the dollar store or Walmart or Staples or Office Max. This is all inside of my book. And write them a receipt. Hey, I'll be in the area in two weeks. You want your windows clean two weeks or once a month? And eh, we'll think about it next time. Stop and say hi, you did a good job. Now when I first started, I was scared. I was using paper towel. I was so nervous and it showed. But that's kind of how you do it. But the bad news is that if you don't know how to do any of this stuff, you don't understand the strategies and you can't handle rejection, then you're, you're not going to make a penny and you might as well go get a job. It's, it's very frustrating. As much as it can be very lucrative and as much as you can have a great day, it's just the amount that you can have a horrible day and make no money and go home frustrated to the point of disbelief. We're going to talk about who wins. Who wins in this new reality, in this new paradigm? Those who win, who are the ones and the people who apply information technology into their businesses. Those who win are those who really focus on, focus on building a whole professional business and a professional attitude, a professional environment, and a professional experience for their customers around their window cleaning business because you are actually in the people business. You just happen to be cleaning windows. And I learned some of this stuff too from Joshua Latimer, automategrowcell.com. Dude is making 150,000 a month in his window cleaning business. And I'm, I'm friends with this guy. And I said, dude, how did you do it? How in the hell did you do that, right? Because we do probably 150 grand a year in our business. And we also do landscaping as well. Those of you know me that we do that. But uh, our average day out cleaning windows is over $500. But I talked to this guy. He's like, listen, we provided an experience for the customer. 
that was exceptional and they felt a certain way. I was like, oh, and he teaches how to do all that in, in his programs and stuff like that. The guy's awesome. But um, who wins are the people who understand certain things about marketing psychology, the psychology of customers, the psychology of what? That window cleaning is a luxury service. If you're running around trying to convince people to let you clean their windows, it's different and it's not gonna work as much as going out and attracting the people who already want their windows cleaned, right? You want people that maybe have been through a window cleaner or two and then now you can go in and knock their socks off because they already want the service. And the only way you could do that is through marketing, through profiling your customers, through building a customer avatar and actually going and seeing, you know, what zip code, what neighborhoods, what this, what that. Now, if you've never cleaned windows before, I suggest you get started doing strip malls and plazas, stuff outside, concrete, right? Obviously, you would lay down a drop cloth. We actually lay down blue huck towels. I'll just put six of them in a row in front of the windows we're cleaning, then I pick them up. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm gonna try using drop cloths, right? I'm gonna get some drop cloths now because I see a lot of window cleaners doing that. But I would just lay down blue huck towels or something that there's a white carpet, right? But on concrete and strip malls and plazas, the water drips on the concrete, no big deal. Get started, get in where you fit in immediately. But we're gonna talk about who loses. Who loses in this game are the people who refuse to learn, they refuse to adopt information technology, they refuse to uh, build a nice mobile friendly website with an optimized WordPress blog, a Tumblr blog, advertising a Twitter, Facebook likes page with boosting the posts, making sure you get a five star review from every single customer and thanking them so they could post it publicly. Those who lose are the people who don't adopt this new way, who are still stuck in the brainwashing that our parents are telling us that you gotta get a job or um, there's an, I, dude, I'm telling you right now, I'm being completely honest, that I'm seeing it happen and change so fast. I have these, uh, this popular video, 12 Craigslist ads a day. You go on Craigslist now, dude, it's saturated. Uh, we post Craigslist ads all the time. Most people who are looking for luxury services and window cleaning are not looking on Craigslist to have their windows clean. It's the huge difference between if you're doing a different type of service business. Um, I've still, I've found people that clean our carpets off Craigslist. People still use it and it still works, but nowhere near as much as it used to. Now, just think of yourself when you look at your phone and you're looking at a business, where are you looking? People who don't have their business on Yelp, who don't have their business on Yahoo, on Bing, on different search, and aren't investing a percentage of their income into their marketing campaign, that aren't reinvesting into their businesses, uh, and don't have you know lettering on their trucks, and don't. Uh, it's so there's so much that plays into the perception that I'm still even learning in my own window cleaning business from the moment. The customer picks up the phone to call you until totally done writing you the check and then after you leave how you're following up with those customers through email autoresponder campaigns like MailChimp, GetResponse, Infusionsoft, sending them coupons, testimonial reviews, uh, a percentage off their next window cleaning if they refer you to a customer, to in, uh, them and their neighbor discounts. There, it's so deep, man, I can't even explain it all in this video how different the paradigm in this reality has changed. And those who don't adopt this and understand this, you can think you're out hustling and working hard, but that's not gonna make your business grow anymore. You can go work your ass off and you might be able to make enough money to support just you, but you won't be able to you know, grow and be able to show uh, a substantial income to even grow a lifestyle business at all until you really understand what's going on and the magnitude of the change in this marketplace. So we're in interesting times and I explain a lot of the stuff in my new book, how to make $500 a day cleaning windows to some people that's um, absolutely, uh, what I'm saying is some people might watch this. If you see, you think 500 bucks a day, whoa. Cause there was a time when I first started my business, I thought that was impossible. $500 a day, you might as well said to me how to make $20,000 a day cleaning windows. But it's absolutely possible. We cleaned houses just 
Yesterday, $720 cleaning windows. I have a client who pays $850 every time we clean the windows. Our average window cleaning job is about $180 per job. Three of those in a day is over 500 bucks. Uh, the other day we did $320 window cleaning job, then we did one for $225. We only did a couple that day, but that was already $500 and something dollars. And your profit every day cleaning windows, if you're out cleaning windows all by yourself, you can make three, four hundred dollars a day. If you've got a worker working with you, you can clear four hundred dollars a day cleaning windows. Um, you really hustle and work till dark and you get some big jobs. You can make uh, five, six, seven hundred dollars a day cleaning windows. I have a buddy who makes a thousand dollars a day revenue in his business every single day, whether he's working or driving or answering the phone, no matter what he's doing, he's averaging a hundred dollars an hour every hour that he's working. That's what we try to shoot for when you're when we're cleaning windows is a hundred dollars an hour. You don't always get that. Sometimes you take on jobs, you're like, Ugh! where you, you know, we work the whole job and you're there three hours and you only made like 60 bucks. And there's some jobs you work two hours and you're in and out of the house and you're like, dude, I just made $180 profit, profit after all expenses. And we're already on our way to the next job. Uh, I look all the time, I cash checks. We'll do three window cleaning jobs in a day. <sighs> a big job, a medium job, and a little tiny job. And I'm like, dude, I just made $430 profit today after cleaning windows. So $500 a day is totally, uh, it's easy. And I explain all of it inside of my book. Click the link in the description below to get a copy of my book. Uh, at the time of this video, it's only $19 on paperback. You can also get the ebook version or the Kindle version, have it delivered directly to your smartphone and be reading it right now as soon as you're done watching this video. The audiobook version also will be out soon at the time of this video. It's not done yet. I'm in the studio recording it. If it's in the link in the description below, then it's ready. You What's up? Hey, battery died on my camera, but I'm back. Anyways, uh, I go very deep into this in this book. It's 19 bucks, but it goes up to $37. The book's a little bit pricey because I don't want to put out this type of information in the window cleaning industry that uh, a lot of business owners in the window cleaning industry kind of hold these secrets. Uh, they're not absolutely secrets, but they are to them. And to just be putting out information like this uh, at such a cheap price for people that hold so much value to this information of how to make $500 a day cleaning windows, this must be a $37 book because the information in this book will make you $500 a day cleaning windows. This is literally no joke. Uh, you're looking at 160 pages in 17 chapters. The audiobook will be several hours long, uh, very in-depth about what to, what to charge, uh, pricing, the mindset behind pricing, strategies and how to acquire customers and get your foot in the door in high-end homes and nice neighborhoods, search engine optimization, uh, where you can print and get marketing media resources, an entire chapter dedicated to the water-fed pole system and how the science and technology of it works and how to use it, a step-by-step -step protocol of what to do inside a customer's homes, of how to actually like clean the windows. Um, about branding, how to go legit and pay taxes, how to actually register your business online and how to find a CPA to start paying taxes, when to go and how to get insured, which you should be insured immediately. Uh, the 30% rule about how to save money so you'll never ever be broke and how you can afford to pay all your taxes and be legit in this business. Split testing, an entire telephone script of how to speak to customers. Uh, Absolute no-brainer. A truck, a van, or a car, <laughs> a total conclusion to this. I put my heart and soul into writing this book. Uh, it took me a good two months. Well, if you, you include all the editing and everything that happened, you know, out of 15 edits of this book, and I did write it and edit myself. I spent several uh, years studying and how to be an author. I'm very passionate about doing this and putting out this information. Even uh, Joshua Latimer put a blurb on the front of it. Um, there is still a couple run-on sentences in misspelled words. Out of, uh, I think it's something like 128,000 words are in this book. Uh, but as far as everything else, it's very structured and organized. Detroit Sponge, Mike Worlway, there's resources in there so you can uh, order equipment, window cleaning resource, Chris Lamarnides, Thad Ekhoff. I'll also um, 
be speaking on stage at the huge convention in Washington, D.C. as an author of the Window Cleaning Blueprint talking about social media domination. Really excited about that. If you want to meet me there, I can, uh, if you have the book, I can sign a copy for you. And chapter 9, you will see it when you believe it. First, you must actually believe that you can make a fortune cleaning windows. Think about that. When you get into high-end homes in rich neighborhoods, not only are people willing, but they want to pay top dollar for the highest quality service. In my own window cleaning business, probably one out of every five jobs is $400 or higher. I'm not lying when I tell you that I've cleaned windows for four, five, six, seven, eight, and even $900 to clean a 12,000 square foot mansion. The mansion was glass only outside. I tell an entire story. It's a classic struggle to victory story mixed with a how-to guide uh, on how to make $500 a day cleaning windows. Very excited about this in the near future. It might already be out at the time of this video. An entire video training course called the Window Cleaning Blueprint will be out. It'll be about 20 hours of jam content packed information on how and everything in this book. Plus, you get a digital copy of the book, an audio copy of the book, an interview, several interviews actually with uh, window cleaning experts. And uh, 20 hours of video on going inside of homes and I got permission to go inside of some customers' homes and show you everything about the window cleaning business. You can't even, uh, it's, I believe that my video training course coming out will be the most in depth on this topic. But for now you can get the book shipped directly to your house, uh, shows up, open it up and start reading it awesome. It just, I'm very excited about this. Click the link in the description below and get your copy of how to make $500 a day cleaning windows. And until then, uh, go on, keep negative thoughts out of your brain, only allow posit positive thoughts, and create your reality. You can create your reality. Thank you very much.